Hello and welcome to another episode of WS Matrix. Today, we're going to talk about what coronavirus and Dumb and Dumber have in common. Stay tuned, if you like to get more videos like this, consider subscribing to our channel. We give you honest weekly updates about the stock market, finance tips, interesting news updates and more. Infection from COVID-19 may have a substantial negative effect on intelligence, according to a new large-scale study from the United Kingdom. Findings that are consistent with reports of brain fog among long-haul COVID-19 patients. Researchers analyzed data from 81,337 people who took the Great British Intelligence Test in 2020. Of those, about 13,000 reported they had contracted COVID-19, and 275 of those had completed the test before and after infection. Those who had previously had the coronavirus found it harder to complete tasks related to reasoning, problem-solving, and spatial planning, the authors said. Researchers controlled for age, education, and overall mood. Those who had previously had the coronavirus found it harder to complete tasks related to reasoning, problem-solving, and spatial planning, the authors said. Researchers controlled for age, education, and overall mood. These results accord with reports of long COVID, where brain fog, trouble concentrating, and difficulty finding the correct words are common, the authors wrote. Recovery from COVID-19 infection may be associated with particularly pronounced problems in aspects of higher cognitive or executive function. Working memory span and emotional processing did not seem to be affected. The Lancet Medical Journal study has shown that IQ points actually drop by several points. Among the most severe cases, IQ test scores had a standard deviation equivalent of losing seven IQ points. In the study, those who were participating weren't aware this was a study about intelligence quotient and coronavirus infections. This was to perform what's known as a double-blind study where it will rule out placebo effects. Researchers are continuing to look for long-term side effects that come from the infection. So this brings us to a group of anti-vaxxers who refuse to get vaccinated. Unless there's a medically justifiable allergic reaction of some kind, it really makes no sense to refuse to get vaccinated. Not only are these people dumb, they become dumber after they become infected. Thank you for visiting our channel. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to smash that like button. Click on the like button and feel free to post a comment down below. If you have any ideas or suggestions on what content you'd like to see in the future, please be sure to comment. We try to read every comment from our viewers. Giving us a like helps our channel grow. Consider subscribing to our channel so you can continue to be updated on our latest videos. Hope to see you again in another video. Until next time.